Okay YouTubers, today we'll talk about some common problems with two-stroke engines not starting or not running correctly. Now one of the first things that is overlooked commonly by the DIY person is crankcase seals. Now these seals on a two-stroke engine are imperative to proper running conditions. These are often overlooked because in four-stroke engines all they do is leak a bit of oil. But in a two-stroke engine you will lose your crankcase seal which is imperative to running because your air fuel mixture is actually sucked into the crankcase before it is sucked before it is transferred to the cylinder to be compressed by the piston. Now you have two seals. You have one seal at the top and one seal at the bottom. Now replacing seals is a relatively easy job. You need to firstly remove whatever in, whatever attachments are on this shaft, your blade, boss, mower blades, whatever, remove them, which can be difficult at times, but we'll make another video entailing how to do that. And then what you would need to do is inspect your seal. If you can see a little bit of uh, fluid around here, if you can sort of, you know, there's a bit of oil or fuel leaking down on the crankshaft, and that's a good indication of a rotten seal. Also, if you fill your engine up with a bit of petrol in the bottom, obviously you wouldn't have this cut out here, but you can tip some down the spark plug and turn it over a bit while in the horizontal position. Then turn it up, leave it in the vertical position. If you get a bit of a weep out of this seal or, you know, a bit of fluid coming out, then that indicates a bad seal. So what you would do to replace a crankcase seal is to get a little screwdriver like this one. Firstly, you try and dig down the side of the seal and you try and flick the seal out. Sometimes you can pierce into the seal and just flick the seal up and out, but sometimes it's not as easy as that. Next thing you can move on to is getting three decent wood screws of a decent length what you do is you pierce the seal with them in four, three equal places, three or four depending on what you want to do and you then tighten them up until they take up on the bottom of this bearing then what you would do is you will go around in a diagonals fashion if you're using four screws or around in a circle if you're using three and you will um, tighten up these screws equally in small increments and slowly pull the seal out but what you want to be careful of is that you don't have too much of a point on the end of the um, screw and it damages the bearing. So sometimes once you pierce the hole, if you then grind the point off, file the point off, you're better off for that. Other things are misadjusted governors, which are things for another video, misadjusted carburetors, which again, you know, this video is not very... You know, not ideal to entail these sorts of things, but yeah, so next you want to look at your gaskets. You'll have a gasket around here that um, forms a seal. If that gasket, for whatever reason, deteriorates and sometimes they get blown out by crankcase pressure, that will cause leaks, the same as a seal will, and you'll end up with your engine either won't run at all or it'll run very lean and very high revving and you know it has no power when you go into something with long grass or that sort of thing so you know there's things to look at you know after you've done your regular checks of the engine 